Welcome back, folks, to Pentiment, the macabre monastic murder mystery set in the town of Tassing. So, we're here in the Abbey, and I've just been reminded on our search for more evidence to uh, implicate Guy, or Guy, Guy, or Gui, whatever, however we're deciding to pronounce his name, um, of uh, whatever he's trying to embezzle uh, said funds out of the Abbey, that there are other areas here that we can explore. So just because the monks are on lockdown, doesn't mean that we are. So uh, let's just do a little bit of looking around. Because uh, I'm I'm near certain, I'm willing to put money on the fact that there's something that we have missed somewhere, somehow, that will kind of, we've been into the kitchen keller, that will kind of give us a, a little bit of an inkling as to what he's up to. You know, it just will seal the deal. But I, I feel like the game is saying there's something that you haven't quite seen that we need to see. In the dormitory? I, I don't think. I mean, I think we've been here. Yeah, nothing. Back to the church. Old Bailey, we've been there. Sacristy, we've been here. Oh! Oh no! The peasants looted everything in here too! Oh no, the Kiborium and Tabernacle have probably belonged to the Abbey for centuries. Uh, the uh, Kiborium, a couple of other vessel for the Holy Host to sit within before and after the Eucharist, typically made of precious metals. And the tabernacle holds the holy host in a locked and secure box between services of the Eucharist, God's holy place. So uh, some very, very Christian Catholic things there. Um, this may be more difficult than I had thought. Of course they did. The sacristy is just piles of gold in the shapes of crosses and candlesticks. I mean, basically, yeah. The sacristy holds chalice, giborium, and tabernacle the abbey uses for mass. This is sacrilege. Um, yeah, let's go with the historical perspective. We should still look around to see if anything is left. Okay, this is most useful. I don't see anything, Master. So that's back to the church. Oh. Oh, look, a journal. Hmm, it might be Guy's ledger. Ah, oh, this must be it. Let's take a look. I don't understand any of this. Let me take a look at these entries. The Abbey's income, mostly donations from pilgrims, it's not much. Hmm. These are the Abbey's expenses. Some of these numbers are awfully high. So the Abbey is spending more than it brings in, I'm guessing? Wait a minute, I think I see now. The guy is using double bookkeeping, a difficult type of accounting to understand. The Abbey is struggling to make ends meet, but the accounts seem to balance out. What's this? Oh, this page is not part of the ledger. It's just a sheet of parchment with a few notes. But why was it tucked away in this ledger like this? Hang on, those lemons we found in his desk. I wonder if he used lemon juice to write an invisible message. Oh, I think I do smell lemon on the parchment. I knew it. Called it. Casper, bring me that candle over there. If we hold the above page... If we hold the page above the fire, we might find something. I don't see anything. Oh? Oh, I see something. There we go. There we go. Uh, what's it saying? Bunkers, Fugger, Ausburgers, Marcus, Spins, October 1523. Come on. Come on, guys. We'll see this. Oh, yeah, don't stay too long. We don't want to burn this message. Oh, there's something. Come on. Oh, my. Guy was stealing from the Abbey. In March alone, he stole almost seven florins worth of funds. That's as much as my father makes in months. He's sending it to the account of an Ausberger man who is depositing it uh, with the Fuggers. 
a prominent, extremely wealthy banking family in Augsburg. They held business interests throughout the free imperial cities and a monopoly on the European copper market. Oh, Guy, we've got you. If Otto knew about this, Guy would certainly have motivation to silence him. At the very least, it's evidence we can use to show Goy was sending skimmed money uh, to a proxy account in Augsburg. Oh, we got him. We have got him, guys. With this. Like, he's just jumped to be suspect numero uno. Uh, Brother Grey used lemon juice to write an invisible message on the sheet of parchment inside the Abbey Ledger. By holding the parchment over a flame, I was able to make the hidden message appear. It was the second brief ledger of deposits that Brother Guy was making to a Fugger bank account through a contact in Augsburg. This is clear evidence that he's stealing from the Abbey. Sweet. Now, what do you want to bet? If we go back to him, he'll deny everything. Or he'll say something like, oh, is that all? I can explain that away. And what do you want to bet if we take this to the abbot? He'd be like, well, there must be a deeper explanation. So, I think we're going to put a little pin in that. Come back to it. Now, I did say, I've been saying for a while, I'd like to check the Shrine of Sensatia. Oh, no, don't, don't want to look at that there. Yeah, I would like to check the Shrine of Sensatia, but I am mindful of the fact that that will consume some chunk of time. And I just want to make sure that we've checked in Tussing, we've checked everything we can, like we've done everything we can before we we do an event that will cause a huge time dump. Time, or time eat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Atelier? Hope those soldiers do don't get here before Peter can grab the abbot. Hehe. <laughs> Uh, we... Well, why have we seen this here? This must be what the church is named for. Uh, Marian Apparition and Tassin's... We've seen this, haven't we? Yeah, we've seen that. Seven Brother Thomas. Father Thomas. Ah, Andreas. I don't suppose you've come for our local St. John's Day confession. I have to give priority to the locals, of course. But if you want to wait a few hours, I can hear you. You don't have to, of course. But I would be remiss if I didn't offer. In fact, that sounds just fine to me. Uh, not right now, Father, but thank you. Okay, so this is going to be a time jump, of, time skip, of course. Time dump, of course. All right, so this is something else we can do. I say we go um, to Sensatia's shrine, as I would definitely like to do that. But that is something else we can do. Um, there's the golden hand. I think that's it, actually. I do believe that is it. There's no more question marks on the thing. So basically, are we going to have time to do everything? Three question marks. We can do something now. We might have a chance to do another one. So one of these things we're definitely going to miss out on, which is a shame. But for sure, we have put it off long enough. Wait, 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 wait. Let's... Let's, let's just see if Martin must have a quick word with us again. He didn't last time. Hello, Andreas. No, he doesn't. Okay. To the Shrine of Sensatia. Let's do it. Let us do it, guys. There. Uh, where is it? That way. Over here. What did that say? Nymphus... Uh, ready to see where this goes, Master? Let's get going. Oh, hello. What are these buildings? What is this place? It's some kind of Roman ruin, like the aqueduct in the meadow. Look, Master Andreas, the flowers. Ah, finally. Maybe we'll find something useful after all. Let's look around. Okay, what is this here? A Roman depiction of a nymph. There's an inscription underneath, probably a dedication. The Romans believed that keeping the nymph of the spring happy would ensure their water stayed fresh. Okay. 
The cistern must be doubled as her temple. So, okay, I, th I thought this was a Roman bath. I mean, it looks a bit like a Roman bath, but, I mean, yeah, maybe it's a temple. I didn't expect to see any Latin inside an aqueduct. I mean, why wouldn't they be? It's Roman. Another inscription. It's still in good shape. This Latin is carved sloppily into the stone. That's odd. Uh, let's check over here. The lettering is worn by time, but it's still legible. This looks like a Roman curse. Oh, man, it doesn't show us what it says. Is that what it looks like, Master Andreas? Yes, the costume the killer was wearing when they ran past us. So much for us finding it in the home of the killer. Well, perhaps there's a clue inside. Just the flowers. But the flowers just point here. When Florian Flor examined the coat of Baron Rothvogel, we found... I have you, Master Andreas. Casper, go get help. I won't let you fall. Dude, just... It's not a long drop. Just go get someone to bring a rope. I can't abandon you, Master. Casper, get help! Uh... Let out a sigh of lung. Yeah, just dude, go get help. I can pull you up. Oh. Oh, for crying out loud. Well done, Casper. Ugh. Well, at least we're alive. Well, we're all wet, but I don't think I hurt anything. I guess that wasn't really that long of a fall. Yeah, we friggin' said so. The important thing is that you aren't hurt. Let's focus on getting out of here. Yes, that's what I said. That's why I wanted you to get a rope. Should we just stare balefully? Let's let's try that. Now then, let's try to get out of this mess you put us in. Of course, Master. I wish we had a little more light down here. I can't see a thing. Can you? I'm going to look around and see if I can find a way out. Alright, let's look around. Wait, is that... The water is murky, I can't see the bottom. I can't see shit in here. Look at Casper. Resourceful as ever. Well done, kiddo, well done. Does this work? I must admit... I'm impressed. I just remembered how flammable these brush rags are. Why were you carrying around the flint and steel? Well, you never know when you might need some fire. Uh, of course. What is this place? A cistern. It must collect water from the spring to feed into the aqueduct. The aqueduct in the meadow? I suppose so. Then all we need to do is follow it back. Perhaps. Okay. So yeah, we, we might have a way out of here then. Uh, what is this? It looks like the tunnel collapsed here, Master. Based on our orientation, this must head towards the town church. Is the church that old? As old as the Roman settlement? No, but many things in Tassing and Kersa were built on what came before. It looks like there's a gap. Do you want me to try to squeeze through? Absolutely not, it's too dangerous. I don't know, it seems risky. Yes, I'd like to know what's on the other side. Um... Should we? No, maybe we shouldn't. Of course, Master. There must be another way we can go. Alright, let's, uh... Yeah, let's try this way, then. Let's see where this goes. 
Wait, is this the way? No. Where do you think this goes? Well, it goes up, so it probably leads out. I don't think I can squeeze through that gap. We need to find something to move the rocks, something to give us leverage. Wait. Huh? Never mind. Let's find a way out of here. So where is this going to be taking us then? Where, oh where, oh where? Jump across? Um, I suppose. Look, oh, come on. We don't even see them jump. Okay, so we're in the upper aqueduct area. Hang on a moment. Was that that area where we just jumped? Is that where we saw the ghost in... Um, remember, right after the Baron was murdered? Ooh. Like, this, this must be the way the... That definitely wasn't a ghost, and that was probably the killer. Like, the real killer. Uh, let's see what we have up here. There's a big grate. Maybe we can get out of the way. It's too high up for either of us to reach. Climb on my shoulders and see if you can push it out of the way. So where does this lead? Oh, is this the... It looks like a kitchen? Is this the Abbey? Or... The Abbey kitchen? What else is up there? I don't think so. It's big, though. Of course, we must be under the convent. Do you see any of the nuns? No. Hello? Nothing. Where could they be? I doubt the sisters loiter in the kitchen all day long. Can you lift the grate off? There's something heavy above me. I can only lift a little, and I don't think I can squeeze through. I might be able to reach. Go on. An oven poker. I got a fire poker. Excellent. We can use it to move the rocks and get out of here. Yeah, that's good. Oh, uh, of course, Master. See, Casper? Always thinking, buddy. This is why I'm the master, and you're the apprentice. And this is the kind of ingenuity and critical thinking that you will need to one day become the master yourself. Now, let's uh, just check here quickly. Upper aqueduct. Where is this taking us? Uh, yeah, it looks like this is the end. Now, where does this one lead? Is this a door? Uh, it appears to be so. A strange one. Where does it go? I'll try to nudge it. Uh, I can't say, but it must have been built much more recently than the rest of the aqueduct. Must be another secret entrance into the abbey. Given the distance we've traveled and our elevation, it must lead to the crypt under the abbey. Really? Can we get out this way? Uh, not at the moment. What's that sound, Master? Snoring. Is someone sleeping on the other side of the door? Hey, wake up! What should we do, Master? Well, we already have the poker from the... Convent kitchen. We can try that on the stones and try to get out. Of course. Okay. That is, um... Yeah, this has been like, really useful. I'm finding that every investigation or, or every lead that we follow in this game, like, yields something really, really useful. Like, this little lead here. I had no idea what was under the Shrine of Sinsatia. But I did not know that 
um, even though it didn't actually give us an inkling as to who the killer might be, because we now have two different directions. It could be a monk, or it could have been a nun. But it also has uh, kind of shown us that this is related to the Baron's murder. Whoever was really behind the Baron's murder, and come on, we, we know it couldn't have been Brother Ferenc, even though we did highly suggest or insinuate that it was him. But we know that the person who it really was must have come this way after they did whatever Machiavellian nefarious deeds that they did. Try using the fire poker from the kitchen to shift the rocks out of the way. Just like this, Casper. Just gotta give it a bit of welly. Wait. I still hear something. Oh? Oh? Landhart? And is that Hannah from the, uh, the inn, the innkeeper's wife? You shouldn't come here during the day. I had to. The farmers are out for blood. And? Did you fail to notice the soldiers gathering around the town? When the fighting starts, we need to be indoors. You know that I'm not that what uh, You know that's not why I'm here. Then quit wasting my time and get to the point. Don't play stupid. We both wanted Otto gone. Oh? Now he is. I didn't kill him. Did you? Why do you ask me so Why do you ask me such a thing? Because of the note, you stupid cow. Because of the note that you... That sent you to into, into hysterics. Because you're behaving like a woman who committed a murder and is afraid of being caught. How could you th... Stop. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you did or didn't. He's dead. The idiot peasants can beat the ground with their pitchforks and nothing will come of it. What about that artist, Andreas? He won't be a problem. We went hunting together and I suggest that he look to Martin Bauer for the murder. Have you done anything to raise Andreas' suspicions? I don't think so. Good. Then just wait. Time will run out for Peter and the rest of his worthless kind. By evening, the Duke's men will overrun the town. The farmers don't stand a chance. The abbot will stay in power, pilgrims will keep coming to the shrine and staying at your inn. Yes. Good. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Be quiet. Go home. Don't come here again unless it's for a quick buck. If you want comfort, talk to your fat husband. Don't bother me with your hysteria. I... of course. I'm sorry. Oh, what have we uncovered? Guys, what have we uncovered? This game, the minute we think we've uncovered a zig, it just zags. Uh, I'm glad we're finally out of there, Master. What a strange adventure. Do you think Mistress Hannah could have killed Otto? She's only been pretending to care about the town's safety. She's only concerned with the shrine staying open. Why would that make her want to kill Otto? If the peasants overthrew the abbot, they might loot or destroy the shrine. Without the hand of St. Moritz, there's no, not much reason for pilgrims to travel to Kerso, and not much reason for them to stay at the Golden Hand. There'd hardly be any visitors to the Golden Hand. Exactly. Now we know Hannah has a motive. It's possible she'd kill to protect her family's inn. We need to talk to Nico and Killian to see just how committed she was. But first, let's go back to the Golden Hand and clean up. People will get suspicious if we walk around town like this. Good idea, Master. Oh, seven hours remaining. E.T. time. Okay, so we have freshened up. Should we go have a word with uh, Nico and Killian? Killian? Hey, buddy. Hello, Killian. Do you have a moment? Uh, sure. Is there something wrong with your room? No, no. 
I wanted to know if you'd noticed anything odd about your mother lately. Odd how? Does she ask you to watch the inn by yourself very often? Oh, well, sometimes I guess. Dad and I look after the place more in the evenings when she gets tired, but... Lately she's been leaving during the sext. Uh, she says she brings food over to the townsfolk at the right house. So I usually watch the inn until she gets back. Hmm. There was one other time. Uh, go on. Mom left in a hurry one night, and when I was cleaning up around the bar, I found this note. Ervir D. Uh. Oh, he will destroy the abbey. Hell will swallow the hand of St. Moritz, the rat house, after St. John's fire. The hell? She got a note as well. Hmm, another note. I've seen several like this before. Oh, but what does it mean? Hmm, St. John's fire. I wonder if that means the bonfire. This note is written in the same hand as the one seven years ago. It couldn't have been left by one of the guests. The note could have been for one of your parents then, but why? I don't know. I don't want anyone to destroy the abbey, even if the abbot is cruel to the peasants. I'll keep that from happening, Killian, don't worry. Uh, yeah, don't, don't worry, buddy. I hope the note helps, Master Mailer. Just don't tell Mom or Dad, alright? Alright, Killian, I won't say anything. Uh, this, might, this note might have bigger connections. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, we won't say anything. Thanks, Master Mailer. I should get back to work. See you later, Master Mailer. Until then. Oh, he's a, he's a good kid. Well, that was uh, quite helpful. Let's see if Nico's going to yield something useful, or if he's just going to ask us to buy a round for the house. Master Mailer, if it's not too forward, I was wondering if you would do my family the honor of joining us for a meal. Um, actually, I'd like to talk to you about your wife. Hannah? What about her? Do you know what she gets up to over by the Roman ruins? Oh, are we going to reveal this? I... Yes. Yes. Oh, man. I'm sorry, it must be hard for you. Quite. But I love her, and I have to think of Killian. I just don't know what to do. I really don't understand her. Women are mysterious and remain so. Um... I, I don't un often understand my wife either. Uh, what are we to do? Except that your marriage is going to be miserable. All I know is that something has to change. An unhappy marriage is a wretched way to live. If you think about it, you could just have affairs in return. Fair retribution, I'd say. Um... I mean, something has to change. Believe me, I know. Stand up to her and carve out some path toward happiness. I don't know... how. Before you can solve your marriage, there's a bigger problem you need to think about. Oh, crud. Showed sympathy for what Nico was going through? Why did we... Why did we fail? We did show sympathy. What? She's glad Otto died. Did you know that? I'm... I'm sure I don't know what you mean. I think you do. Oh, come on. We, we totally showed this guy sympathy. Oh, she never said anything about Otto to you? No, never. She never did. Now please leave me be. As you wish. Until later. Until then. Oh my word, honestly. You, you think you are going about things the right way? Samuel. Trying to be sympathetic to the peasants, or to the... Well, they're not really peasants, are they? To the, uh, to the innkeeper. And, uh, and that's the thanks you get. Okay, should we confront her? Let's confront her. Ah, oh, Master Mailer. I'm glad I caught you. Would you and Casper like to join us for supper? We'd love to join you, Hannah. Thank you. Uh, perhaps another time? Oh, is that all she's gonna say? 
I think that's all she's going to say. Um, okay, so it is approaching supper time pretty soon, so we do have to think about uh, the rest of the things that we can do. Soldiers approaching the proprietess. Hmm. I mean, we do have motive for the proprietress, so that's pretty good. We couldn't get anything out of Nico. That is a damn shame. We know a fair bit about Martin Bauer. Well, we know that he's not... Old Idox Affliction. Let's let's sort that out. We've got to help the old guy. Come on, I think that's important. Andreas, there you are. I have the curative for Brother Idoc. I hope it is enough to alleviate his affliction. I did what I could with the time and tools available. He will appreciate the help no matter what. Of course, of course. God bless you and all the brothers in these dire times. I hope this awful outbreak ends soon, before any bloodshed. As do I. Thank you for your help. Be safe, Andreas. Okay, let's give the medicine to Idoc. And then I believe it will be time for us to make a decision on the last lead that we decide to follow. Okay. Hey, Brother Idoc. Please. Brother Idoc, I had Sister Gertrude make you something for your pain. Oh. You shouldn't have. The others. Uh, as you care for others, I must care for you. Uh, if I can't even help you, then I have failed at everything. Florin is looking for the others. You're the one teetering on the edge. Now eat the broth. Yeah, as you care for others, I must care for you. Andreas, I never would have guessed back in the day. You to be an angel upon earth. Aww. Oh. Rest easy, brother Idoc. Okay, he's got some relief at last. Now, the question is, do we have enough information? Hmm. Let's go to the journal. Yeah, we've done a we've done a fair bit. That's pretty good. So, in our, yeah, do we have enough information about? Like, it, it looks like we don't. The duplicitous accounts. Is uh, is Gerno going to believe us? Let's talk to him. God bless you, Andreas. Have you found something else? Oh, buddy, we have. Guy left evidence of his thefts in the Abbey Ledger. In March alone, he stole almost seven florins worth of funds and sent it to the Fugas in Augsburg. My God. That... that can't be. How did you learn this? I found a receipt in the back of the Abbey's Ledger, written in lemon juice. If Otto knew something about this... You can't think Brother Gui would have killed him. He might. He's never much like peasants, but murder? I don't think violence of that kind is in his nature. I know his heart. You couldn't have made a mistake. Are you certain? These are not the kinds of mistakes I make. I'm absolutely sure, Father. You can check the receipt. Yeah, um, all you need is a candle. I suppose I must. These times are so dark, Andreas. Even with the Lord's light to guide us, I do not know how we will go on when this is through. <sighs> There's little I can do about this now. But should we survive the coming days? The consequences for Brother Gui will be dire. Thank you for hearing me out. Uh, I'm sorry this came to light in the way that it did. Whatever you think of me and my intentions, I do care about Kerso. Um, yeah. We have not always seen eye to eye, but I have never doubted you care for this place. In that, at least, we are aligned. One final thing. Have you spoken with him about this? No, not yet. So he doesn't know he's been found out very well. Go with God, now more than ever. You as well. Uh, yeah, until later. Okay, so... 
Like, do we confront him? Let's confront him. Let's confront him. Come on. We got you, guy. You asshole. You told Gurno. Uh, I'm so sorry he had to know. Oops. You are a true bastard, Andreas Mela, and you deserve the very worst of what's coming to you. I'd like to think we've been on reasonably good terms until now. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, we can... Okay, okay, maybe calling him an asshole didn't help, but, uh... Yeah, we convinced him to explain himself. Tell me your side of the story. There has to be some reason for this other than simple greed. Does there? You're a bastard guy, but you're not stupid. You wouldn't do something this brazen without good reason. Yeah, let's go with that. What a generous assessment, Andreas. Thank you ever so much. You're very welcome. Asshole. <laughs> oh, advice? What was that? What, what was that? Again, Andreas? What is it this time? What did that note say? Uh, that's it. That's all I know at the moment. And that's all you will know, because there's nothing more to know. There's nothing else, God bless you. What the hell? You guys saw that, right? Like, the, it just totally flipped out on us. What was... What was that last note? What did it say? Is there anything here about it? What? Was that a glitch? Oh, crud, that li oh god, that might have been a glitch. I don't know. Okay, well, we can't talk to him anymore, because he's not going to say anything else. Oh, hang on, Florian. Andreas, how wonderful to see you. There is no doubt that the circumstances of our union are dire, but your face is a welcome sight. Have you been well? Dude, we saw you not that... Uh, well enough, yeah. Well, you look healthy. What brings you back here? Before all of these unfortunate events, I mean. I uh, wanted to pay my... Res well, we, I think we've spoken to him. Of course, Andreas. Uh, a little long life with a little pain. We, yeah, we've definitely done all this before. He was well loved by everyone. I'm sure he appreciates the gesture. Uh, do you intend to solve the murder? Uh, I will, I do, I have to. Excellent. Uh, all the Lord hands. Yep. Care so quickly. Don't even bring to medical texts. What have you been- have you been reading many? Oh yes, as many as Klaus can find. There's a wealth of knowledge coming out of Italy. Uh, Louis Cento's text on the French disease. I'm sure we've done, uh, The Flower of Medicine by Salerio. Uh, did you know they're translated into Hebrew, Akitan? Imagine that. Imagine a peasant in the fields of Provence reading the medical wisdom of Salerno. Imagine a Polish mercenary doing it. Uh... Ha! I don't need to imagine it. What a wonder these books are. Ah, I got carried away. Hee hee hee. So he's just discovered books. Anyway, it's good to see you, Andreas. Until later. Until later. Yeah, I think maybe some of the dialogue is a bit, uh... Um, out of sync with uh, what has been uncovered in the game. Or, or maybe we are uncovering things not in the order in which it's intended. Like, maybe we should have... Yeah, maybe we should have confronted Gui before we spoke to Gurno, and he would have opened up to us slightly differently. But uh, I think that's all that we can do here now. I think maybe we've got one more event that we can countenance before bedtime. But what will that be? So we can go for a meal. Yeah, it's probably going to be dinner. Dinner with someone or something. Anyhow, that will be next time. That's all for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.